Beth Reynolds here with Iowa Beef Center. For today's Cow Tip Tuesday, I want to remind you that even though it's muddy out and you're starting to see some green grass poking up out there, there's a lot of value in having some patience before turning your cows out onto spring grass. For both your cover crop acres and your perennial pasture, one of the biggest concerns we have with early turnout is that these cows aren't going to get enough to eat and meet their nutritional requirements. When I say get enough to eat, what I mean is that if forage is short, let's say three inches, a cow's bite is pretty small. Couple that with the fact that the nutrient density is diluted with the high water content in the grass, the cow's ability to consume enough to meet her requirements for protein and energy is limited. Waiting for more growth leads to larger bites and less water in the grass itself, helping mitigate that. For cover crop acres, we recommend at least four to six inches of growth before turnout. And even then, some additional nutrient-dense feed might be beneficial to keep the cows producing and in good condition. For early spring pasture, we recommend waiting for even more growth. In addition to concerns about cows getting enough to eat, early spring is a critical time for our cool season grasses to produce tillers and develop root systems, which are essential components of a productive pasture. Turning out early and letting those cows overgraze now will result in pastures that need more time to recover and are guaranteed to produce less than their potential over the full grazing season. When turnout does start, rapid rotation in early spring is often needed to prevent overgrazing. We usually recommend keeping a bare minimum of four inches residual grass height for our cool season species in Iowa. So I'm telling you not to turn out now, but what can you do? To get out of mud, consider a sacrifice paddock, providing access to limited pasture acres with an electric fence, or utilize some crop residue acres. Smaller paddocks that get damaged by overgrazing can be reseeded with an annual forage to increase available summer forage. Because we aren't needing to maintain perennial plant health, crop field or cover crop acres are a good option. Understand that cattle still need to be fed. The last thing I want to mention is pre prepare for spring turnout. Make sure pasture fences and water systems are ready for pairs in the coming weeks. Additionally, get the cows ready by providing a high mag mineral now. Lush growth leads to low magnesium availability in the forage and needs to be made up for through supplementation to avoid grass tetany. Maybe you've gotten by in the past, but high mag mineral is cheap insurance. To be effective, start using some high mag mineral supplement two weeks pre-turnout to prime the system. If you have questions regarding spring turnout this year, reach out to your regional beef specialist.